suck too. There's a reason we got Saquon Barkley. There's a reason we got Daniel Jones. Because them giant scenes of Odell was always trash too. But Odell wasn't trash. Hell, Odell made the cover of matter with the one hand catch. So what's Saquon Barkley's excuse for not producing? I don't care if niggas is shooting, it's all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha, you now tuned into the bad guy, man. Alright, look. You know, I'm a Giants fan. I am, and I ain't ashamed to admit it. I'm a whole Giants fan. I'm a Knicks fan. I'm a Yankee fan. I bleed blue in every sport, and I'm proud of it. When Odell Beckham was traded to the Browns, I died on the inside. It ate me alive. I was miserable. I hated the Giants when they traded Odell Beckham because Odell Beckham was the team. Odell Beckham was the only reason why we moved the ball. He was our best player. He was our most popular player and he actually contributed it to winning. When is Saquon Barkley ever been Odell Beckham? When? The thing is, Eagle fans, when is the last time you played the Giants and y'all were scared of Saquon Barkley? See, this is what I don't understand about Eagle fans. You say you got our best player, but 70% of Giants fans were happy to see him go. When we lost Odell, it ate us up. We were miserable when we lost Odell. The only thing we didn't like about Saquon leaving is he went to you. Had Saquon gone to the Bears, had Saquon gone to the Texas, we would have farted, rolled over, and went back to sleep. We wouldn't have cared. <laughs> We really would not have cared. The only reason why this is even a big deal is because he went to the Eagles. But make no mistake about it. There's, there's not a realistic Giants fan walking the earth that would tell you that Saquon Barkley is that guy. He doesn't contribute to winning. He's not Christian McCaffrey. He's not Derrick Henry. He's not that type of player. He's not. Because if he was, he'd still be on the Giants. If he was, he would have led the league at rushing one time. Where is Saquon Barkley's dominant season at? When is the last time Saquon Barkley had a 200-yard rushing game? When's the last time Saquon Barkley had like a, 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 a four-week stretch where he was the best running back of football? McCaffrey's done it. Derrick Henry's done it. Josh Jacobs has done it. When is the last time Saquon Barkley had a stretch where it's like, oh my goodness, the Giants are on a three-game winning streak because of Saquon Barkley? When? The only time the Giants go on three-game winning streaks is Tommy DeVito or Daniel Jones' fourth quarter comebacks. That's it. It's never because of Saquon. Never. So I don't understand why... You get an injury-prone running back who struggles to run in between the tackles because he thinks he's Barry Sanders. Saquon Barkley thinks he's more athletic than what he is. And when you Eagle fans, y'all think because you have a good offensive line that that's going to stop Saquon Barkley from trying to be Saquon Barkley, you're sadly mistaken. Saquon Barkley is going to dance around, he's going to try to make players miss, and he's going to get tackled in the process. He's going to get caught from behind. He's going to fumble in the fourth quarter. He's really not like that. And I'm tired of y'all thinking <clears throat> that he is because he isn't. He just isn't. And like I said,
For the money that the Eagles paid Saquon Barkley, they could have kept both their running backs. They could have kept Swift and Miles Sanders and been better off. You could have kept Swift and Miles Sanders and saved a couple million dollars before paying Saquon Barkley. Who's going to get hurt before Halloween? He's going to get hurt before Halloween. I'm not saying this as an angry Giants fan. I'm saying this as someone who watched Saquon play for five years. He's just not like that. <clears throat> and you can blame it on the Giants. You can say that the, the, the Giants haven't had the best teams around him. I'm sorry. Didn't Derrick Henry still find a way to have a great season last year without A.J. Brown, without a good quarterback? Wasn't Christian McCaffrey putting up numbers even after Cam Newton retired? What are we talking about? Josh Jacobs. Who was his quarterback in Oakland again when he led the league in rushing? So it's like it, it, you're making these excuses for Saquon and you're blaming everything on the Giants instead of blaming Saquon. The Tennessee Titans offensive line is not like that. The, the Las Vegas Raiders offensive line, you know how I know the Raiders offensive line ain't like that? Because the Giants just got two of their offensive linemen and everybody's laughing at us because we got Raider linemen. So if Josh Jacobs can lead the league in rushing behind a bad offensive line, what the hell is Saquon Barkley's excuse? What are we talking about? It's, it's just like, come on, man. Like, you, you Eagle fans are delusional. Like, y'all are real delusional out here thinking that Saquon Barkley is going to save you. He's not going to save you. You're going to have to throw the ball to open up the run for Saquon. If y'all go into these games trying to run the ball to open up the pass, you're going to suck. Because Saquon Barkley, he, he's not that kind of runner. He's not the kind of running back who, who could just carry an offense. He's never done it. All those years in New York, we won because of Daniel Jones. Now, I know that might sound laughable, but every Giants fan, no matter how they might feel about Daniel Jones, has to admit that if it wasn't for fourth quarter Daniel Jones, we wouldn't have went to the playoffs. <laughs> if it wasn't for Tommy DeVito performing a miracle on Monday Night Football, Saquon Barkley fumbled the game away. He fumbled. And I'm just saying, in the playoff game, Eagle fans, in that playoff game two years ago, when, when y'all beat the hell out of the Giants, where was Saquon Barkley? Where was he? See, it just, you, you Eagle fans act like y'all haven't dominated Saquon Barkley for five seasons. Odell Beckham would torch the Eagles. Saquon Barkley, when's the last time Saquon Barkley had a meaningful game against the Eagles? And don't say that the Giants teams under Odell were better because they weren't. Those teams suck too. There's a reason we got Saquon Barkley. There's a reason we got Daniel Jones. Because them Giants teams that Odell was on was trash too. But Odell wasn't trash. Hell, Odell made the cover a matter with the one-hand catch. So what's Saquon Barkley's excuse for not producing? I'll wait. I'll wait. So you Eagle fans can chirp, do whatever you want to do. Y'all can act like Saquon Barkley's going to get you over the top. But I got news for you. You're not getting over no mountain with that dude as the focal point of your offense. It ain't happening. It ain't. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Drop FUs in the comments if you rockin' with me. And stay vicious. Dismiss. <laughs>